All right, so today we're gonna to be replacing this differential pressure sensor with this one. This one is old, it does not work anymore. The sensors are built in, the pressure sensors are built in, and so they have to plumb in the water over to the sensor. On the new one, the sensor is external. So we're gonna run wire from the sensor location on the pipe over to the pressure sensor. So here are the sensors, and then the wire comes back to the sensor location. So this is what it looks like on the chill water piping. This is the old one. So you've got to get rid of this tubing because we're going to put our sensor there. So you unscrew that, take that out, and then it's got a bushing, a reducer bushing. So you unscrew the reducer bushing, and um, it's the wrong size. So the thing we're putting in there, the sensor we're putting in there is a uh, quarter inch, so it's bigger. So I had to go buy a bushing to match. So you have a hole in the top is much bigger. So you definitely want to use some Teflon tape on the threads. And you just feed it down in there. And I'm going to, once I get it started, I'm going to put a wrench on it, tighten that up. And then I'm going to put Teflon tape on the threads of the sensor before it goes in. So here's what the sensor looks like. You have to pay attention. I'm on the high side, so I'm going to use the one that says high. But here's the threads. It's a quarter inch. And i got to put some uh, Teflon tape on those so it doesn't leak. No leaks. So that's a ball valve there. You got to shut that to work on it. So here we are on the low side, and the first thing you got to do is turn, turn the water off, so you can work on it. And then you've got to get into this insulation, peel this insulation back, so you can get to the fitting. And we got to start taking it apart with our adjustable wrench. Yeah, there's the old bushing. It's time to put the new bushing in. And we just tighten both pieces with the wrench. I'm going to tighten it here first, and then I'm going to tighten it there second. Okay, so once that's tight, I'm going to turn this water back on, and make sure we don't have any leaks. And then I'm gonna plug my my wire there. There we go. Alright, so then we're gonna hold it up there. Gonna mark the holes. And we're gonna use our hammer drill. Drill them in there, we'll put some wall anchors in. Okay, so we got it mounted and wired in. This one comes from the controller, it's got power, common, and signal, and then these two come from, this one is the high sensor, and this is the low side sensor. So, low goes on the left, high goes on the right, and then over here at the controller, here's how you power it up. It's a three wire setup, so the power comes from the 18 volt terminal, the common goes back to the common terminal, and the signal, the white wire, goes back to the input. You can also power these things with an external power supply, but it's much easier if 
the controller you're using is uh, has a power supply built in. You also need to know the range. So the range is selectable on this particular unit. Uh, I think we've got this one set to range C. And you just look at the model number. The model number we have is the PW05. There it is. So range C on the PW05 is going to be 0 to 50 PSI. 